What up, people? So, we got another TDI. My project number, whatever it is, I'm not sure. Uh, 2013, 95,000 miles. Well, I would say 96,000 miles, just about. Uh, tan interior, which is really common. I like to find them uh, when they are white with black interior super cool i had few of them uh they they are awesome and uh whatever i found this one reasonable price i thought it was a reasonable price it's really not a reasonable price but you see the other car in the back so the story on it maybe you can learn something from it so i bought it you needed a fender a hood a headlight a bumper which i ended up reusing an old bumper i ended up fixing it a grill and uh, the whole entire radiator support with radiators. He got hit up here in the corner. So, <clears throat> uh, what happened? What happened? So I started looking for the parts, and the parts is absolutely insanely high. I'm like, the things went up faster than I expected it, and uh, what I paid for this vehicle, and what I was calculating on the parts, ended up being above my budget. So. I kind of sat on it for about a month. I bought it, checked the parts. I said, this is insane. Uh, the parts, uh, what I usually buy, uh, he didn't have any. So I calculated out and it was cheaper for me to buy the whole entire car for the parts. So this thing is 2014 TSI 1.8. That's a diesel. Uh, I pre-bought the radiator support with the whole entire radius from another car. I paid three hundred dollars for, which is I thought was reasonable. And uh, uh, this one has two hundred nine thousand miles. It burns oil really bad. I bought it at the auction. Uh, Copart. Uh, the car was completely fine. Uh, this fender started kind of a little bit of rusting. Uh, the one I took it off, but I fixed it. Like cut it in the right time. Clean the rust on it. It was on the inside, it was a couple specks of rust and on the bottom. That's why I got it uh, primed. And uh, so it was literally, this is the first time actually was cheaper to buy the whole entire car and rub the parts, whatever I needed. And I will explain to you why. So how much did the parts went up? I believe I used to buy used bumper for about $200. Now they five uh, ten in a Keystone a 509 a Keystone 1, 512 fenders used to be for like 40 to 50 bucks now they want 70 uh, the bumper assembly with grill and the whole thing is 570 no 675 which is crazy and uh, just the headlight itself which is that one in the back it's completely fine headlight it was 160 and I did order it and then I said you know what uh, screw it because by the time you calculate it to buy in all these pieces and puzzle i still have to paint it because it's not going to be color match i better off calculating and buying a car so i end up sitting on it till i found that car and bought that car in the Moines. with shipping it all i got like 17 something hundred dollars in it if i would have bought all the parts i need i'd be right at 2000 and i still have to paint it so and that making sense just to buy the car and i could not find i needed a this side piece and i went to the junkyards and they don't have them so i asked the dealer do you guys have them the dealer wanted 120 bucks for this thing that's what they told me uh, on the phone i thought it was absolutely insane and a junkyard well salvage yard they want, uh, I believe it was like 48 bucks or $58. And I tell you what, it's really nice to have a parts car when you're putting one together because every little thing like this plastic, I'm missing on this side, it was broke off. So I got it. Then uh, there's a piece of plastic goes inside here, which is this bumper, original bumper was broke up. And pretty much anything you need, you just go in the back, Unbolt it, grab it, and put it over here. So the rest of a car, I know, I don't know exactly what to do with it, but the, the plan is to put it on a market's place. Maybe somebody needs parts like a door, mirror, 
uh, tail lights, maybe one headlight or one fender or whatever. Uh, I put it out and get some of the value back from it. And then if that ain't gonna happen, I will buy another one what got hit on the side. It might be needs doors or in the rear or trunk or whatever. Uh, so we will puzzle from three cars, two cars. So that's my Monday for today. I just got this primed. I uh, gotta wait till dry and hopefully, hopefully I will paint it tomorrow night. Uh, I like to my primer settle for over 24 hours. Otherwise, if you don't, uh, you will have, uh, after a while when it dries out underneath the paint, you will see the scratches. So it was a little ding right here. I fixed it. And it was a deep scratch right here. I fixed it. Uh, oh, another thing, reason I didn't, uh, some of you guys are gonna say, well, by the time you buy paint and everything else, that's kind of went up in price too. I come to find out, I have a three quarters of a gallon right here of paint. And actually it's a color match. So I bought a gallon at one point in time at 375. It's a Trans Star. That's the product I use. I, I like it. I like their primer. It's not too thick and it's not too light and it does really good job on uh, filling scratches and everything else. But like I said, you have to let it time to dry. So thanks for watching all.